Paige Jenthun with YourColorStyle.com and in this video we're going to talk about what it means to be soft in your color style. The first step of your color style is to determine your chroma, whether you wear colors best from the bright color palette or from the soft color palette. And if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, I did create a video before this one that kind of tells you why this is important and what I mean when I say bright or soft. But if you're good to go and you know what I'm talking about, this video is gonna show you photos and, and explain to you how you might fit into this path, if you will. There's still a couple more steps to customize to get to your specific color palette that's best on you. And when I say best, the colors that are going to align best with your natural coloring and tones so that you, so that you shine through, not just your colors. So let's go ahead and get to the sc my screen so I can show you a bunch of photos. When you hear me say soft, I mean muted, tone, dusty, low intensity. These are colors to think about when you're thinking about soft colors in your color style. Here is the soft color wheel that I've mentioned. And if you are soft, you wear those softer colors better than brighter colors, you'll be choosing from this color wheel. Not all the colors, but this is the, the start of you defining your color palette. So the center ring is the brightest the color can be. It starts, we start out with an actual pure chroma color and then mute it slightly. And then we lighten it with white and darken it with black. So there are some key things to look for when you're thinking about whether or not you're soft. One of the things that I'm gonna talk about that I don't really have a, a slide for per se, but when you look at someone who's bright, they usually have something that kind of stands out. When you're looking at someone that's soft, often the hair, skin, and eyes kind of all sort of blend together. The eyes might be the exact same color as the hair. There may not be a very, um, there may not be very much differ, different tones between the hair, skin, and eyes, very low contrast. Uh, and again, you might have those dusty tones in there. And so nothing really stands out. And, and that can also be an indicator of being soft. So think about that. The other thing to consider is the combination of things. You may have a combination of cool and warm, like a skin that seems kind of warm, but you have cooler gray hair, and that combination can sometimes soften you as well. Here's a good example of individuals that have dusty hair, dusty tones. Their hair is not really a bright silver. It has just some gray kind of blended in there. Their eyes don't really stand out. They also have kind of a gray, dusty sort of tone to them. And so therefore, dustier colors are going to look good on them. Often, hazel eyes are on someone who is soft. Again, not always. I've seen, I've seen very, very bright hazel eyes on individuals. But when I see hazel, uh, it's usually a, got an eye that has very, a blend of colors. There's no real clarity. They kind of change often. Nothing's really crisp about the color and clarity of their eyes. And sometimes their eyes, their eye color kind of almost matches their hair color. It's sort of like a blend. Again, nothing really kind of stands out. Very earthy tones, low uh, contrast and earthy tones. Um, those warm colors with black added become earthy and it's often for people that are a little bit soft. Okay. And so you can see here that again, maybe the woman in the middle, my, I could be, or I could be convinced that she's more bright, but right now, her, even her eyes kind of almost blend with the same color of her hair, same with her and same with her. So I feel like they're probably more soft. Okay, here's two more examples of someone who is soft. The one on the left, she has a combination of light and dark. This also can happen. So she's got golden blonde hair, but her eyes are a little bit like more of a golden brown. Nothing really stands out and kind of blends and she could be soft. And the one on the right, she's not necessarily truly gray, but she's definitely got that softer quality about her um, and she just, she just feels like she might be soft 
to me. And I know that's not scientific when I say she just feels soft to me. But the more and more that, that you practice looking at photos and looking at yourself and other people, you're going to have fun starting to think about are they bright or are they soft? And you can do the same for you and have someone help you figure that out. I hope that was helpful. If you're confident that you are soft within your color style, then you need to go on to the next step. That link will be in the description below this video, so it'll take you straight there. And if you're not too sure, you might want to watch the video for Bright, and I'll put that link in the description as well so you can check that out. And if you just want to see the whole quiz at once out on the blog, please visit yourcolorstyle.com quiz, and you can go through the whole quiz step by step. I'm Jen Thoden. Thanks for watching. Thank you.